Uh, all, now that is left to say is a big thank you to my best man, David Wiggy Corbin. <laughs> Being such a good friend over the years and for helping me on my stag do to Brighton. I would like to say that none of the things that happened was true, but due to social media these days, you can't escape anything. So, with great pleasure, I'd like to introduce you to Dave, my best man. Public speaking is not my strongest point. I would like to start with a big thanks to Peck. Thanks, mate. Go away, Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for this. Right, as you can probably tell, I'm absolutely bricking it, right? Oh, you so, oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so, we've been... We've been for... Oh! Go away. Hello? <laughs> so, we've been through a lot together. Hello? Hello? Just shout. Hello? Right. Right. Yeah, this is it. Right. So, we've been through a lot together, me and Peck. Many, many good nights on the town. I have so many, uh, so many stories about this guy, but he's told me to keep it clean, so there's not a lot I can say, really. <laughs> you know? So. Now, as I'm sure most of you know, Richard has a nickname. Pecker. And I'm sure a lot of you wonder why he's called Peck. Wow. Let's just say, Rose hasn't married him for his wedding tackle. <laughs> In fact, we do have some video evidence of this. Ash, could you get the projector sorted? Where is it? Over there. Up here somewhere, mate. Hey, you are No. No, I'm only joking, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. <laughs> now, Peck has always been, Peck has always provided us with a lot of laughs over the years. But like the time we went to Tenerife, we landed, dumped our bags, headed out for a few drinks. As you can imagine, a few drinks turned into too many. Anyway, we all ended up back at the apartment, and, um... Oh my god. As you can imagine, a few turned into too many. <laughs> anyway, we could all... <laughs> we all ended up back in the apartment and went to bed. Shut up! Right, so we all ended up in the apartment. Right, we were all ended up going to the bed. And then a couple of hours later, Peck decided to um, go for a little leak. <laughs> but he did, like, I thought he'd go to the toilet, but he didn't. He ended up going for a pee, pee, in his suitcase. <laughs> in his suitcase. Like, so, he stunk of pee the whole holiday. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> now, as I'm sure most of you know, Richard has a nickname. <laughs> With a lot. too many, he tends to lose control of the trousers department. We were on the golf course a couple of months ago and he was telling me a little story about when me, like, started seeing Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did that. I did that. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Shut <laughs> up, I'm lost. Oh, I've done the Tenerife one, haven't I? You see, you see, you see, when Peck's had a few too many, he tends to lose control of his trousers department. <laughs> We were on the golf course a couple of months ago and he was telling me a little story about when he and Ray Rose started... Right. <laughs> now, now, oh, now, he actually used the words, don't use this in the speech. So naturally, I knew it would be a good one, and it would be going straight in. So, they were back at their house, getting on, on the sofa, getting a little bit frisky, you know how it is. Like that. And, he, and then all of a sudden, he felt a little rumble in his tummy. He thought he'd try and slip a little one out, a little fart. But, but disaster. Disaster. He shot it. <laughs> he followed through. And somehow, I don't know, I don't know how, he, how, he, how did you do it? But apparently, he, he managed to get her out of there, got himself into the shower. And apparently, did she know, do you know about this? You didn't know about this? You did know? No! Yeah, yeah, he done that, but he got you out of there, didn't he? <laughs> Got him right out of there. You see, you see, when Peck's had a few too many, he tends to lose control of the trousers. <laughs> a lot of you probably seen the photos from the stag do, but those of you who haven't, we've we've had some printed up. Have you had a look? Have you had a look? Have a look. Have a look at the photos. <laughs> While I find my place. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone having a look? Everyone having a look? <laughs> Spoon <her. laughs> Hey, are with me? Yeah. You laughing with me? 
A lot of you have probably seen the photos from the stag do, but those of you who haven't, there we go. We, we printed some out to see what we've done to the geezer. I, mean, it, I, I honestly think he started to enjoy the, the rubber on his skin. I did feel a bit mean, but he took it well. I think actually quite liked it. And I also wanted to say a massive thank you to all the stags that came. It was, it was a cracking day, boys. It was a cracking day. <laughs> Another thing about Peck is that he always seems to fall asleep anywhere. Anytime he will fall asleep. But halfway through the night he will fall asleep. So what we've decided to do is, uh, hang on. <laughs> what we do, right, is we'll seal raffle tickets with a 10 minute slot allocated to each ticket. If he falls asleep during your time slot, if he stay, but <laughs> now, if he falls asleep during the time slot, you win the money. But if you don't, hang on. <laughs> we will be selling raffle tickets with a <laughs> church. <laughs> we will be selling raffle tickets with a ten-minute time slot allocated to each five-pound a ticket. Yeah. 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 There are only 36 tickets, so please see my secretary. <laughs> Oops. I mean my wife. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Right. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> On a serious note. <laughs> serious? <laughs> Alright. On a serious note, he really is a top bloke. And he would do anything for you. He has taken the boys on full time. And it, it, quite honestly, mate, fair play to you. Honestly, mate, it, it, it's something I don't think I could have done. Really, really and truly. I love you, man. I really do. I really do. Uh, see, I haven't known Rose very long. And I, I know she makes him happier than I've ever seen him. So, if you would please Upstand. Upstand. <laughs> right, and join me in a toast to the happy couple, Richard and Rose. Cheers.